hey hi community yeah so let's start today with docker yeah so um, agenda is that to give you a tech intro about docker like why we are using it and how can we use it uh, for docker i am not using it locally i have created the instance there only i'll be using so yeah so which includes everything to the software required to operate such as library system uh, code and runtime docker allows you to running in certain and your code will execute so as an example what so uh, that is just a definition which is just written in a format that you can understand but still in an explanation format how docker will work so if if we go by definition also docker organizes software into containers uh, which includes everything software requires to operate such as libraries system tools codes and runtime yeah mm, suppose you have a code right so uh, how to say mm, suppose you have this uh, python code uh, some like flask or something and which uh, which you want to run right so what all things you require you require like multiple things to run it maybe you need, you need python you need a, a whole virtual setup around it you need the libraries to execute everything you need it right uh, whenever you want to run uh, locally so that's what the here only docker comes into the picture where you have to give the code and directly your code will get executed so uh, that's what actually docker does there is a a formal information formal definition you can directly learn it but that's what docker does more moreover so um, as an example as i said like this is your python code and the libraries you require right so here just you have to give the code and rest the docker will provide you a layer suppose uh, which will uh, where you can uh, run your code directly and this uh, rest of the things docker will take care so that's what the pretty much the basic about the docker okay so next is like uh, why do we need docker like lot of people are why do we need docker we can set up virtually uh, we can set up locally and we can use it uh, so see everything you cannot use it locally there are a lot of things you might need a, a better infra better uh, better tech around it so that's what we cannot have everything uh, in our own system it has a limited space it has a limited uh, feature that we can use it so that's why docker is important so you don't want to put up any infra in order to run application as an example you are running application docker takes care of everything that's what i described here uh, suppose uh, this, this is python code and uh, you need something so just you have to go with the python code and rest the docker will take care so that's what the thing is uh, uh, rest is like what is docker con uh, what is docker image sorry uh, what uh, what techs are talking about what is docker image and how can we use it so uh, you can use the docker uh, image very easily and it's nothing uh, if i go with the definition also um, a image is a type of executable file that contains source code and binaries so uh, suppose this is your code okay so As I said before, uh, as I said before, Docker takes care of other things. So in image also, uh, in image it's nothing. Suppose this is your code. Okay. So now what? Uh, like we have a GitHub repo to keep our code, right? The same way we will be having the this one, uh, the code in form of images. Here, here we keep the image, uh, keep the software in form of images. That's what we say. Uh, that that's what we called as an images okay so suppose um, as an example suppose you are working on some spring boot application and then uh, you want to keep that into the docker so that uh, basically you have to create one docker file and build the image and then you have to keep in the keep the image uh, keep the code as an image but moreover the image is like a, a bundle of software that you want to store that is called as an image okay so it's nothing so next comes like what is docker container people ask like what is docker container and what we how can we use it so um, docker container is also nothing uh, container is just a bundle that includes all the necessary libraries toolset and dependencies assume that you are working on a project as i explained earlier 
project that necessitates use of an environment and other binaries in order to run. So that's what called as a container. So that that is even the basic functionality of Docker to run the software in form of container. So yeah, that's what it is. So yeah, well, next is like what is Docker Hub? So Docker Hub is also nothing. If you go, if you go to any like it is also like a github you can say uh, just you have to keep the things uh, in the docker hub i'll just zoom it yeah so this is docker hub where i had created few uh, customized images of mine uh, but you can also create uh, yours uh, as i said like you have to uh, create from a, like by creating a docker file you just have to build it and then keep it here or directly also you can push it uh, wherever you are running from runtime you can directly push it the, uh, just you have to uh, log in there so that's what the docker hub is whatever the credential you will be creating here the same credential can be uh, used on the cli as well so you don't have to worry about yeah you don't have to worry about here i had created uh, my three images and here are also option where you can explore directly what all the images are there these are verified publisher and these are the official images. So uh, like Amazon, there are like all the big companies has provided their uh, AMI images over there to use uh, on AWS. The same way big companies provide their images to use it on the Docker as well. So as an example, like uh, see like uh, Google CA, uh, Cat Advisor had given, Bitnami has given, then Amazon ECS agents image is also here. A lot of like all all like big companies they mostly used to provide their images here or if they don't you can also build it yours and you can push it over here so that's not an issue anyway so that's what it is uh, now we will try like how can we use few things around docker in our uh, in our environment so next question is what yeah so yeah these are like docker hub so now the installation is it's very easy uh, locally so you can directly uh, i'll attach some links over here to use it uh, but anyway locally is very easy you can directly install it and use it but uh, i have done over i'm on amazon linux so i have given the commands accordingly how to use it so i'll just show you quickly like I'll just, zoom. I'll just show you quickly how this as well how I am logging in so I we had created the EC2 instance suppose so by this command we will be uh, logging in yeah so here we have logged in and now I'll run few commands that I have even though given here so these commands is for installation these are also common you can install it but yeah like I was getting some error so I have mentioned here like uh, my daemon was not working and of course from amazon your daemon may not work so you have to basically use these if you want to install on amazon linux okay so here i have installed my docker if i give the docker my build number is coming here right you, you can see here so uh, this is what i have installed and this version is present on my machine that is ec2 uh, virtual machine so now I'll run few commands. So this is Docker, uh, suppose Docker info. Yeah, so client is, uh, context is default and debug mode is false. So that's what the information you will get. Cannot, yeah, so this was, yeah. Yeah, so now you can see, yeah. So in Amazon, you have to start it like, uh, because it gets logged out and then we, there will be new EC2 instance. So I have uh, I have logged out before I guess. So but anyway you have to start the service, Docker service and then only you, your commands will start working. So yeah, any image right now. So see nothing is present here. Uh, no. Sorry, Docker PS will give you containers. Uh, Docker PS will give you containers. I, uh, my containers are not running. And Docker images will give us the images we have. So I have this uh, node API. So I had uh, pulled it before, but I'll just quickly show you how can we pull it and how can we find the image on uh, Docker Hub as well. So suppose I'll just go with some very uh, common publishers that we have. I'll just go with ngnx if I'll get quickly. 
Yeah, so you can search directly here. So this is nginx. nginx is a server actually. So that uh, I have to use this. So I'll get inside it. And uh, so there it will give me the command directly to pull the docker. So I'll just copy this docker pull nginx and I'll just paste over here and my nginx will get pulled. See how things are working. It's getting downloaded and all the status we are getting here. Okay. Okay, so now if I again do the docker images, I'll get my nginx image as well. You can see here, right? Uh, so yeah, so that, that's, what, that's how we can pull the images from docker hub and then we can directly use the command and pull it there. Okay, so next is like, I have to run the container. Suppose I have to run the container. So... I'll not run these all commands. I've just mentioned few basic commands here. I'll just explain you what all what this command actually does. Uh, yeah, so I'll just take Docker container run ng. I'll just try. Okay, so now I have pulled my image, uh, nginx image on my machine, and now I'm trying to run the Docker container. Right. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Guys, you can see this. Whenever you will run with the image name, so this is image name. And these three are docker commands okay so whenever you will run this your container will start see what can we see so docker psa is also one command that you can use it directly to see whether uh, my container is not active so it is showing me here it is here. So these are not active, but still these are present. So we use the docker psa command. Okay. Uh, next is like uh, if you want to run the image, if you want to pull the image, docker run image name. Yeah. use this the, uh, the image will run okay I'm just showing you these all software might not work and these might work but I'm just showing you for now how docker we can start how can we start working with docker and use these commands uh, once we install it huh? so that's how it is start working process start worker process these are status you will get step by step if you uh, learn in deep you will be able to understand what all things are if any container might have get created successfully it would have been present here okay but still if if i use But still, three containers are available. Okay. Not running state, but still they are present on my local, right? On my machine, right? This is not on local, this is on AWS. So, uh, I meant to say like that's how we can start the Docker. And uh, you will be able to understand why we, do why we use the Docker. And uh, uh, there are also one thing like uh, what is Docker... Uh, a file as well so docker file is nothing uh, there will be a set of commands that we will be running like as an example we are uh, writing some script to create the pipeline in Jenkins we are writing some script to cre create the pipeline uh, in GitLab uh, like YAML file 
so the same way we can directly uh, uh, we can create the docker file and with with the help of docker file we we can keep that docker file with our code and uh, with the help of uh, docker file we will be able to build our code into image and once we get that once we create our uh, code as an image then we keep those into like maybe we can push in our docker hub and there will be also local repository in organizations that they use to uh, keep the, their images only with their own. They do, won't allow to uh, push those images on Docker Hub because uh, few employees might, uh, they might keep as an, uh, uh, they might keep as an like public. So like anybody can misuse as well. So that's how I mean, like that's how the people use it. Like there are different level in organization, there will be different system and on uh, locally, there will be different uh, set of standard people follow. So uh, yeah, so these all things are there. Uh, but yeah, I, I'll just I'll be mentioning for deep understanding. I'll be mentioning few YouTube channels. I'll be also mentioning the useful links which you can uh, use to install the Docker on AWS. And also I'll try to mention a Docker link that we can use to that we can directly use to install the Docker on locally either on a Windows machine or Mac machine. Uh, rest yeah that is fine uh, uh, learn in deep then you will be able to understand and also you can you can also contact me if i'll be able to help i'll try to do so um yeah so yeah thank you guys but yes uh, please uh, qa community has to raise their standard that's what we all feel and we have to understand everything uh, in all the technologies whatever is happening uh, around the companies, whatever the technology they are introducing, I guess we should be a, able to uh, grab that and understand that what actually it is. That there is no need of every technology you need then deep understanding, but at least basics we should know. So that's how we can start with Docker. We will see with any other technology next time. So yeah, thank you.